Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. Joining me later is Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This really isn't a competition today. We're just going to both be gushing about a brand new feature in Excel 2010. Now, we're basing this on the technical preview. The real version of Excel 2010 will come out, of course, in early 2010. We're saying Q1, maybe April or so. Uh, I want to talk about a new feature called Sparkline. So, we, we have some data here, different products and the sales by month. And, you know, you can look at those numbers, but can you really get a feel for whether things are going up or down? Here on the Insert tab in Excel 2010, they gave us new line, column, and win-loss spark lines. Let me just create a simple one here with a line. I choose my products, I choose the sales, and say that I want a line spark line, and the location is going to be right here next to the data. Basically, a spark line is a tiny little word size chart. Uh, Edward Tufte and his books talked about spark lines. And you see, now we get these tiny little line charts in each cell. We can customize it a little bit. We can say, hey, we want to mark the high point. We want to mark the low point, uh, we want to mark the last point or the first point, and we can change the colors that are used for all those various dots. Great way to very quickly create a bunch of very small, tiny word size charts. Gives people a, a feel whether things are trending up or trending down. Great for the people that may not be numeric, uh, numerically oriented. So, uh, spark lines, uh, one of the cool new features in Excel 2010. Let's throw it over to Mike. Mike will uh, give us some of his thoughts about spark lines. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Oh, my heavens. Excel 2010 for doing statistics, just amazing. Some of the new functions they put in blow my mind. Ah, but sparklines, totally amazing for statistics. Here's something I do all the time. I have these data sets, and I'm calculating skew to figure out which way it's uh, the distribution is bending, but then I always make these charts. So if I have five data sets and I'm comparing it, I have I have to use Chart Wizard five times. Spark lines will just blow this out of the water, not only in the speed in which I can do it, but the accuracy of the chart, because when you make these charts little, uh, they don't always come out exactly the way you want. Here's my data sets. I actually took this big uh, data set over here and did frequency. I'm going to highlight this right here. This is what I want to make my column charts out of. Insert spark lines column. Now, I have the data range. I scroll over and I get my range for my cell charts and click OK. That is just amazing. If I randomize this data, you can see, boom, not only do the charts update, but these cell chart spark lines are linked and update just totally amazing and they look better right you can see this one's kinda gives you an idea of the distribution but it's not the charts don't always come out when they're this small just the way you like them so blows these chart wizards away in terms of speed and in terms of accuracy and how good they look spark lines and Excel 2010 totally awesome alright see you next trick Hey, all right, Mike. Yeah, that's uh, excellent. Whether you're doing the lines or columns, just a fast, fast uh, way to go to create those little charts and uh, a great feature that's coming in Excel 2010. Now, for the Mr. Excel Netcast, this wraps up our week of looking at Excel 2010. Next week, we're back to just uh, the regular Q&A, uh, but we'll we'll take another look. There's more features that I didn't have a chance to cover this week, and uh, uh, certainly here in the in, during August, we'll take another look at uh, Excel 2010. So, on behalf of Mike and myself, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast.